Hello, this is our presentation on PDIVIO insertion. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about a do it yourself model and then some training tips. Uh, the model, there will actually be a video on how to make it. Um, it appears it's kind of squishy, weird feeling, but it, you can put either PVC or IV tubing or the long balloons filled with a little bit of fluid or even chicken bones in the model so it's a little more realistic. Um, you just have all your things set up, um, your clips so you can use keep the IV tubing within however deep you want it within each the model block. Um, and you'll get the recipe and like I said another video. It's basically water and then gelatin and metamucil and the metamucil is what colors it so you can add more and then it the uh, texture is a little bit darker um, then you can put the whatever you're using for your veins or your bones within it and you can even add more if you want to make it like there's more flesh on top of the bone or the vein um, you should still be able to feel it through this model it's kind of soft and squishy just like a person would feel um, it can be clear, it can be more opaque, you can make different sizes and they are reusable and they last quite a while. A little bit better if you keep them in the fridge, but they'll last for a while. Um, some training tips. There's some basic vein anatomy that most kids have that you don't necessarily need to see the veins. You can pretty much um, maybe either feel them or even do a blind stick. The ones in the AC are easier to do blind sticks. Very similar to adults, but um, it's always a little more challenging on a kid when they're twisting their elbow. So if you can really, the key to IVs on kids is really having a secure hole that will help you immensely. Um, the hand is a popular place for kids. They have some decent sized veins, a nice 22 or 24 will work there. Um, the other place is in the feet. The greater saphenous vein, one on the medial side, is usually the biggest and the one that easier to hit when you can't see it or feel it. Um, and then there's those in the foot. And although people don't like them, there's the scalp veins, which can do in a pinch if you're really not comfortable doing an IO. Um, a couple of tips, again, you know, holding is key on children. Uh, they can sit on the, the parent's lap. The parents can even cross their legs over the kid's legs. They can hug the kid to their chest um, and then just have whatever extremity out you're gonna put the IV in. Alternatively, you can have them chest to chest. Uh, the parent can really hug the, the child in and have a little bit better control and someone can hold your limb for you. There's no parents available. Um, we're a fan of swaddling and really wrap those kids tight and just keep out whatever limb you're gonna be putting the IV in. Um, and this works kids, you know, with a bigger sheet up to toddlers and, you know, preschool age usually. Um, once you get the IV in, uh, use, the, use an arm board. Really secure it. Make sure that the kid's not going to squirm and pull it out and, um, you know, tape, really tape it well and, and get that. You can cut the arm board and, and make it very secure. Um, and then a lot of times covering it up with a little Curlex or a, like a hospital sock is, is helpful. Out of sight, out of mind is what we say for kids. Um, we have something called a transluminator light. Um, there are hundreds of dollars. This is a bike light that I got on Amazon, so online, for about $15. It does not get hot. The, on the, the picture where you can see the veins is actually my hand. So it, throws, it glows through fairly thick tissue. Um, it helps so you can see where valves are, you can see if someone else stuck, if the vein is blown or if it's an actual vein and what path it takes if it starts to dive deep. Is it straight? Does it branch off to the right? Um, it's a very useful tool. I use this tool a lot. Um, other resources you may have um, available to you might be Freezy Spray. It just makes the skin really cold. Some kids like it. Um, Buzzy is a little vibrating plastic like toy. You usually, like if you're doing an AC, you put it on their bicep and the vibration just stimulates the nerves so that sometimes they don't notice the, the IV start, stick as much. Um, other things you can do, same you do with a, 
and adults. Put on a warm pack, hang their arm over the side of the stretcher. Distract, kids are easily distracted. Bubbles, videos, sing to them, toys, whatever, have them look the other way. That usually works pretty well. Um, and that's it. Uh, pretty straightforward. Again, the key is getting that limb stable so they can't move it, hold the, the elbow, hold the wrist, whatever you need to do. But I hope this is helpful. Thank you.